I, I want to ask you uh, about that framework, but I'll, I'll come back to that in a bit. First of all, just to make sure I'm clear, so you're not calling for any sort of formal expansion to the dual mandate. It's more a question of just how it's interpreted. And, and I ask that because, as you know, the Fed uh, already faces criticism from some on Capitol Hill who say that it's, it may be losing its focus on the dual mandate by worrying about concerns such as climate change. So, you know, first of all, I, I, I'm laser focused on the dual mandate, and I don't want anyone to think that I spend any time on things that are not directly contributing to our mandate. Pretty much everything that, that I do is with the goal of trying to help our economy reach its, its, its maximum potential, and that will get us to maximum employment and stable prices. So, so that's the baseline there. I, I don't have any interest or goal to get our institution to go beyond that. I, I think we've, we've got a lot, enough on our hands already, uh, and we want to, I think it's appropriate for us to stay in that space. Just on the climate change uh, question, so that you mentioned it, you know, one of the things that we are charged with doing is trying to preserve and maintaining uh, financial stability. And to the extent that uh, climate change is introducing new risks into the portfolios of banking institutions and the communities across the country, uh, we need to understand the nature of those risks and make sure that banking institutions are prepared in case those risks come to fruition. You know, we've got a hurricane that's going to bear that's bearing down right now on Florida. That's part of my part of my district. Um, that has implications for holdings and loans that banks have. I'm hopeful that this storm does not do a lot of damage. But what we've seen over the last several years is storms are bigger, they're stronger, and they're doing more damage, which exposes all of my financial institutions in the sixth district to a lot more danger. And I think it's responsible for us to just acknowledge that and have conversations to make sure that bank institutions are thinking about that and have a plan moving forward so that they're still around tomorrow to continue to provide the services that we need them to do.